Welcome everyone, my name is Adam Schneider. The story I'm about to tell you isn't going to be as deeply sophisticated, intellectual, and philosophical as this, but uh, I'm going to try to follow through. This is actually written by Andrew Miller. Um, him, myself, and Ryan were all friends out in Guam in the Coast Guard. Um, I had the pleasure of being out there for about two years with them, and Andrew was the stimulus um, towards Ryan and Marina meeting. Um, I was lucky enough to share in some of the stories also, but this is a story that Andrew wrote for everybody to kind of get a better picture of how they met, and I know he really wanted to be here tonight, but unfortunately his, his duties with the Coast Guard didn't allow him to do that, but I talked to him through text message last night, and he, he's dying to be out here in Maui sharing this moment. So this is what he wrote for you guys, and we'll start it off. It's called The Frisbee Story. June 21st, 2009 started out just like any other Sunday in Guam. A couple of our close friends woke up, most likely a little hungover, and headed for the beach to drink some cold beers and sweat out the night before. The smell of local barbecue floated through the air, carried by the warm tropical breeze that blew over a crystal blue to Monday. When we sat back in our beach chairs enjoying the day, out of the corner of my eye, I saw something of a rare sight in Guam. Six girls waded waist-deep water just off the beach. The girls seemed to be enjoying the day just like we were, laughing and taking in the sunshine. It was at this point that I thought to myself, this is too good to be true. <laughs> and I can vouch for that. There's basically no girls in Guam. So when you see six coming together, you better get on it quick. <laughs> so I hurriedly jumped out of my chair, grabbed my Frisbee, and ran down to the beach in an effort to catch up to them. Imagine David Hasselhoff, but replaced the rescue cannon with a Frisbee. The girls were at least 100 yards from me and moving away, so I went with the only thing I could think of to get their attention. I threw that frisbee as hard as I could, and when it landed in the water with a splash right behind one of them, I yelled, hey, a little help? The surprise girl turned around and picked up the disc, and as I waited closer, she tossed it back. I tossed the frisbee to her again, and we started up a conversation about how beautiful the day was. The rest of her friends eventually joined in and we exchanged pleasantries. That's a philosophical term that Vic would use, pleasantries. <laughs> From the beach, Ryan saw what was going on and no doubt felt the urge to join in in the game. He came out in the water and we all talked for a little while. As the conversation carried on, a hike guided by yours truly, Andrew, was planned for a few days later. And Andrew's always been like that. He's super proactive. He's, he's a big time planner. After we parted ways with the girls and we were walking back to our friends, Ryan looked at me and simply said, dibs on Marina. <laughs> a few days after Operation Frisbee, I took the girls on a short hike down Guam's historic Spanish steps that cascade down a cliffside and leads to the ocean. After we all snorkeled, we relaxed on a little section of private beach where I tactfully talked Ryan up to Marina, mentioning, of course, his charm, charisma, and rugged good looks. <laughs> Marina smiled, and it became obvious that he caught her eye before I even said a word. A few days later, the soon-to-be couple got an opportunity to hang out again when I received a call from the girls stating that they were planning on camping at Gap Gap Beach. They were wondering if the guys and I could make it. It was an offer we definitely didn't pass up. <laughs> and a little break from the story, I did go to this camping trip on Gab Gab, so I can uh, vouch for the validity of what follows here. At Gab Gab, the night was cool, the stars were out, and the radio blasted some hip hop song that all the girls felt the need to dance to. And what a ridiculous sight that was. <laughs> We all knew the company of our newfound friends as we swam, ate, and drank the night away. After everyone had enough and had gone to bed, Ryan and Marina sat on the sea wall talking and gazing at the distant stars. I imagine they were probably holding their hands and having their first kiss under a number of shooting stars. The lovers might have made a wish on that very night that the experience would be the start of something special. 
but you will have to ask them about that because I was passed out. <laughs> well, that distant wish has clearly come true. I've never seen two people more perfect for each other than Ryan and Marina are for each other. Their compassion and devotion to each other is remarkable, and their love story is truly one of a kind. I love them both from the bottom of my heart, and I feel so blessed to be part of their story. That chance meeting on that beautiful beach was the start of a life full of love and happiness, all brought together by the single greatest frisbee throw in history. 